Uh, and so either of a log or of an exponential. So let's go through both ways because in each of them the steps are pretty much the same but I want to show you an example of them. Alright, so let's say you start with a log form. And so let's say this is the expression or the equation and you want to write the inverse of this equation. Right? The way that you do that is you'll follow these steps. So as with any inverse, the way that you start is you exchange the x and the y's. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this. Our first step here is to rewrite this by exchanging the x and the y. Okay, once you do that, you're going to isolate the expression. that has your y because that's what you eventually want to solve for or isolate. In this case I don't have to do anything that's already part of the equation. There's nothing added or subtracted to this side of the equation. Hey, okay, I've isolated this expression and then the final step is to rewrite the form and you're either going to move from log to exponential form or you're going to move from exponential to log form. So in this case I have the log form so I'm going to rewrite this as an exponential form and remember the exponential form we take the base of our log so 3 the base of our log becomes the base of our exponent to the power of whatever's on the other side of the equation to the power of x is equal to whatever's inside our log and I'm just going to write the y first okay, but you get this expression here Let's see what happens here if you had some if you had something added or subtracted to this. Okay, so what if you had a minus three, you had a vertical shift on this, and you wanted to find the inverse? Go through the same steps here. So exchange your x and y. So we get an x is equal to log base five of y minus three. We're then going to isolate the expression with the y. We want to get this completely alone. So what do we have to do to both sides here? Add 3 to both sides. So you get x plus 3 is equal to log base 5 of y. And then we have our last step here, rewrite the form. So it's written as a log, so we're going to rewrite it in exponential form. So we take our base. as A base of our exponent is the same as the base of our log, 5 to the power of, now it becomes a binomial. So we take this to the power of x plus 3 and we're going to set it equal to what's inside our log which is just the y. And so this is how we would write our inverse. Okay, so this same process works if we're uh, starting with exponential form. Okay, so if we take something like this and we want to write it or find its inverse you do all the same first steps so exchange the x and y so x is equal to 7 to the y isolate the expression with the y there's nothing added or subtracted here so it's already isolated and then move to the last step here to rewrite this so if we rewrite this in the form we had an exponential form we want to rewrite it in log form so we're going to start with log to the base. The base of our log is the same as the base of our exponent, so 7. And now, again, the way that I would think about it is kind of moving from the other direction. So when you're looking at moving from the log into the exponential form, our uh, exponent, the power of our exponent is isolated on one side. So here's the power of our exponent, so we're going to isolate that on the other side and then what was originally on this other side or what was um, originally on the other side here is what's inside of our log so here this x becomes gets moved to the inside of our log and that becomes the inverse the form of the inverse that you're looking for and let's try one more time and that is if there's something manipulated again let's say here we'll add three on this so here we have this vertical shift occurring. And so if we follow the steps to find the inverse, we exchange our x and y. 
step one. We then isolate our expression that contains the y, so in order to do that we're going to move the 3 over by subtracting 3 from both sides. And then the final step is to rewrite this in the, the alternative form. So it's in exponential form, so we're going to write it as a log, log base 5. Well, 5 to the power of y, the y, whatever's in our exponent, or whatever's in our power is going to be alone in our log. So y to the fifth is equal to whatever it's set equal to goes inside of our log. So in grouping symbols, we'll put the whole binomial x minus 3. And so that's how you would adjust for those.